as you're welcome to my channel. My name is Omotola and I make videos on sewing tutorials. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, hit the subscribe button so that you can be notified when I have new videos. Today, I'll be teaching you all about that manipulation. What exactly is that on your clothes? If that makes your clothes more fitted, it gives it shape because our body has contour. We have areas where that are usually used at the, the waistline, the shoulder, the, the back around the shoulder here, the waist at the back. Even there are some darts that you put around the, the hip if you want. Now, that's manipulation that I'm going to teach you today. It will, I will make it more applicable to the basic bodice pattern. So, looking at the female body, female body has bust around here. When you are making that, because of the bulge of the bust here, you need a dart to make this place highlighted. So, a dart is needed around the waist. Because of the slope that comes from the shoulder to rest on the bulge of the bust, you need, a, you need, you need that around this place too. So, basically, your darts could come anywhere from here, 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 here. This is the next region here. All it's all, all the guideline that your dad needs to follow is that it must it must point towards the bust area here. So the bust is the apex. The dad could come from any of those region. So I hope you understand that. So now if you want to manipulate that position on your garment through first from the pattern before you transfer it to the garment. We have basically two methods of doing this. One is called pivot method and the other is called slash and spread method. Today I will be treating the slash and spread method. In my next video, make sure you watch out for it. I'll be taking the slash and spread method. So for the pivot method, exactly what, what does it entail? It is simply transferring that or that from one position to another position on a pattern block. So take for an example, this were the basic block, the pattern, um, the basic block pattern we made in the previous video. This already had already taught that class how to make a shoulder that it has that, the waist that, and it has the shoulder that. So what you do in pivot method is this. You can transfer this dart to any other position on this body and it will still give you the same effect of shaping the upper region. I hope you get that. So, and there are different ways to do that, that you can put, that you can pivot your, your dart to. So the first one, I call it the princess style line. Now, when you see a cloth that has a cut from the shoulder, down that comes through to the waist to the hip like this it could be a gown it could be a blouse this this style of cords you see the dart is not coming on its own again it has it has actually been incorporated into this line this is called the princess style line so what you do for this having had your sloper you've already constructed something like this before so just trace it on a new paper like the way i've done here just connect this waistline so the, this waist that so the shoulder that okay so we connected the line of this just has connected the waist that to the shoulder that here with the line so also do the same for the back okay. I must have done that remember for the back I would usually remove about one centimeter 
so that there won't be bulge around the zip. Even if you are not putting zip, still remove those bulge so that there won't be bulge on the coat. So, one centimeter. out this that cut them out okay remember to leave them you do the same too for the front okay. so this is front on fold this side is on fold okay this is whole one, meaning that this is the first part, and this is front, this is the second part, and also this is times two. You're cutting two of these, but you are folding this, so when you fold this, it will be one. This is the front unfold. And this is the front, not on fold, but times two, two pieces. So I'm going to sew this part, this edge, to this edge together with half inch. Okay. And this is the back. I'm going to sew them together like this. Okay, so now let's see how it fits. On the dome, I use the actual measurement of this body form here. So, having sewn them together, this is what the front looks like. Now, I only use pin to hold them together because I will still need to remove this and pin another one. So, you see, they actually match by the side. So, this is the back. If you actually look at the shoulder here, you see that it is the midpoint here, actually met with the back midpoint. So when you are sewing all this kind of style that has princess style line at the rest, that has a cut at the back and front, unless it is not its style. But if, if that is what you want to sew, if it is all this princess style line, make sure the different fabrics, make sure they match at the shoulder here. Don't let the back on start from here while the front starts here. It's there's a way it, it gives your work a professional finish. Okay? So that is that.